They had to buy a nightlight for his little brother Mark. I told him if you're blind like me, you're not scared of the dark. One day. We interrupt this program for a KKID special news report. What is this? Change the channel. Don't bother touching that dial. We are controlling your television. This is KKID, the TV channel for kids. We bring you important information that you want to know and need to know. <laughs> anyway, our story today is about strangers. Earlier today, a young boy got away from a stranger trying to get him into her car. This seven-year-old boy escaped harm because of some valuable information he learned from a police officer. We have a reporter, Misty, live at the scene with the boy. Thank you, Timberly. I'm here with seven-year-old Kevin who just barely escaped from a stranger. Can you tell us what happened here today? Well, I was on my way to my friend's house, and this lady drove up to me and said that her dog had run away and she was trying to look for it. She opened the door and asked if I would get in and look for the dog while she drove. I told her that I wasn't allowed to talk to strangers, then I started to walk away. And then what happened? She told me that she wasn't a stranger and tried to grab me by the hand, but I yelled no and ran away as fast as I could. I ran to my friend's house and dialed 911. The stranger left before the police could get there, but I was able to give the officer a description of what she looked like and what the car looked like. Thank you, Kevin. I am Misty reminding you to play in groups. It is safer and a whole lot more fun. Back to you in the studio, Timberly. We have Officer Upton in the studio with us today. Officer Upton, thank you for helping us with our show. Can you tell our viewers what a stranger looks like and what they should do if a stranger approaches them? A stranger can be anyone, a man, a woman, or a teenager, someone that you don't know, and it makes no difference what they look like or what they drive. Let me tell you the three steps that Kevin was taught by a police officer. First of all, you need to say no as loud as you can so that you can attract attention. Then you need to run away as fast as you can so that you can get away and hopefully not be harmed. Then you need to go and tell someone that you trust about the situation. And who do you trust? A police officer, uh, your mother, your father, whoever you live with, an older brother or sister, or a trusted neighbor. You need to talk to your parents about who your trusted neighbors are. Let me demonstrate. If a stranger talks to you, what should you do? If they won't go away, look at them and say, just say no, no. say it loud. No. Let other people hear you when you shout. Just say no, say no. it's wrong. No. Stay away from me and leave. If a stranger comes along and wants to take you home As you run away, here's what you should say Just say no, no. say it loud no. Let other people hear you when you shout Just say no, say no. it's wrong no. Stay away from me and leave If someone you don't know says come with me, don't go. No matter who it is, you must remember this. Just say no, no. say it loud. No. Let other people hear you when you shout. Just say no. Just say no, say it strong. 
Timberly, stand by. We're receiving an up-to-the-minute report. One of our ace reporters is at a local supermarket with Kid Cam. Come in, Lester. This is Lester with KKID reporting to you live from the supermarket toy aisle, where earlier today we caught a situation on video that everyone could avoid if they would only stay close to their parents while shopping. Let's watch as Kid Cam shows us what happened. Bob? Oh, there are so many toys. I could play here all day. <laughs> Here's a <what> you know. <laughs> Hey, little girl. <gasps> Your mother's waiting for you out in the parking lot. She sent me to come get you. Come on, let's go see her. Oh my, if that little girl goes with that strange man, we might not ever see her again. Let's see what she does. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. And besides, did my mother give you a code word to tell me? You have a code word, don't you? Don't you? Your mother did not have time to tell me what it was. Just come on, let's go. Let's go now. This is not my father. Help me, help me. What happened? Are you all right? Little girl, I'm with KKID News. Can you tell us how you knew what to do when the stranger tried to take you away? Oh, yes. I've been taught that if someone you don't know tries to talk to you, that you should say no and run and tell someone that you trust. And if a stranger grabs you and tries to take you, you should fight with all your might and scream out loud, this is not my father. That way others can come and help you. If I had stayed by my mother, this would not have happened. Say no, run and tell someone. That's a great lesson to learn. Back to you, PJ. You know, I like what the little girl said, and that's to always stay with parents while shopping or away from home. Yeah. Let's take this information a step further and tell our listeners to stay with groups of friends when playing outside or away from home. And they need to always remember not to ever take gifts or candy from a stranger. PJ, could you tell me what you should say to a stranger? No. No. Oh. Just, Just say no. no. Now let's go to the park where Officer Upton is teaching some children how to say no to a stranger. Okay kids, before we eat, I want to tell you a story about strangers. Come on, let's go, here we go, yay! Well, that's all for our special report. 
But before we leave you, we want to review steps to keep strangers away from you. If a stranger ever comes up to you, just say no, run, and tell. Never get into a car with a stranger. If you put your name on clothing or books, only put last names. That way strangers can't make you think that they know you by calling out your first name. When shopping, stay with your parents at all times. Remember, strangers can look like anyone, so be very careful. Boys and girls, if you or your parents need more information about strangers or how to be safe, contact your local police or sheriff's department. They'll be glad to tell you all about it. <coughs> and remember, you can always talk to police officers. Play close to home and up by the house and let your parents know where you are at all times. What's the difference between a big hill and a big pill? I don't know. What? A big hill is hard to get up and a big pill is hard to get down. <laughs> <coughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. This is KKID, keeping you in touch. Just say no. Run and tell someone. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.